Hi, this is Pavel and this is a, a part two or video two of this uh, exercise. We created a form over here that uh, and we have our power, the functionality uh, all taken care of. Now we are going to do the or figure out how to do the prime numbers. But before we do that, um, one thing, uh, when we open the form, there is no, uh, it's basically just kind of throws it right here. And uh, I mean, we know what, what this is for because we are doing the exercise, but for a user, it would be nice to have some kind of a message box that would kind of describe what the program is, um, just for the fun of it. So um, uh, to do that, normally you would come over uh, to the form, double click it, it would go to the load form method and you could do some co something like message box dot show and then you would write your text something like enter number and exponent to calculate the result and on the new line we could do something like uh, uh, you can also view prime numbers it's up to 10,000 that's what the assignment says that uh, up to 10,000 so this is the this is when I click when I, when I start the program the, f the message box pops up the thing is it is here before the form is even displayed when I click OK then the form displays what I would prefer is to have the message box displayed with the form itself so the way to do that is not to use the form load uh, event but I'll just copy paste this uh, I'll take this message box out and um, instead use uh, an event called form shown so when I go to my uh, to my design and I click uh, over here on the form properties when I click the events there is a shown uh, method and uh, I just create uh, well form main form shown event we can call it whatever we can uh, you will probably actually have it blank so but I just call it uh, form show I, I don't even have to call it anything let me just uh, let the program create it uh, by so I just double click it and it will create it it itself well not anymore because I already gave it a name uh, where is it form shown yeah let me just delete that and when I double click it will create its form main form shown or in this case it's the underscore one you may have a little different name whatever I mean the system created it itself but this uh, event is loaded along with the form uh, that's why it says form shown so when I pass the message box there now and I, I start the uh, start the program up oh, I got an error uh, Okay, uh, this is from my uh, form load, which I don't have anymore because we I removed it and I, I'm using the form shown now. So I just delete that from the designer. And now you can see it pops right with the form. So now it says enter the exponent and whatever. And here's the, here's the form itself. So I think this is a better approach than having just the message box displayed. But let's go back to our numbers and let's calculate the uh, primes. So how would you do that? Well, think about what prime is. Prime is a number that is not uh, divisible by any other number. In other, if you, if you divide a prime uh, a number with another number, and if there is a reminder, if in other words, if the result is not a whole number 
and if then it's a prime number if there is no such number that would uh, result in a whole number as a result of a division so first f of all you know that uh, every even numbers uh, have uh, an even division uh, you, you can divide them by two and you always get a whole number every uh, even number so you know that prime number has to be um, odd number but not every odd number is a prime number for example I don't know 21 if you divide 21 divided by 3 you get 7 and of course 21 divided by 7 you get 3 so that, that it's a whole number the result of the division is a whole number but for example number like 19 is yes, so there is no number that you can use in division 19 divided by any number uh, other than 1 which doesn't count the uh, it, it basically it says any number that is not divisible by any other number other than 1 is a prime number so 19 would be a prime number so um, so we can eliminate even numbers they all are none of them is a prime number so we are only dealing with odd numbers so um, secondly if I have number let's say number 19 I know that the only possible numbers that can uh, we can use in a division to even consider having a, a, a whole number as a result would be a half of it in other words 19 divided by 2 but we will do it as an integer obviously it would be nine and a half so uh, we get a number nine that, that that's the that's the maximum that we can use in as a division and still hope that it's a go, it's going to be a whole number because if you do use 10 in other words 19 divided by 10 it cannot be uh, a prime number you cannot get a you will always get a reminder with a, with if you divide a number with a number that is more than a half of it uh, let me just kind of demonstrate I'm just kind of bubbling here all right so you have a number 19 so you know the half of it would be nine and a half but rounded would be nine if it was ten then you know it's already more than a half out of 19 and if you do uh, any number 19 divided by 10 would always result always in a in a reminder even even numbers would result in a reminder like 4 divided by 3 would be obviously uh, have a reminder uh, 10 the maximum number you can divide is half which is 5 if you divide by 6 then divide by 6 you will get a, a reminder so so we know it's a the prime number can be only odd number and the maximum I, uh, value that we need to check is the half of the number itself so uh, we'll do the integer and we will do the counter for our loop because we'll have to be looping obviously which will equal the value and it would be fine but to kind of speed it out even more like I said we can divide it by two and that's the maximum iterations of the loop that we will have to do and the loop is very simple we will do while the counter is greater than one then we will check uh, if the number is or is not uh, prime so if the uh, value if mod this is the symbol for mod equals zero in other words if there is no reminder of the defin uh, of the division then it is not a prime number so we will we can return false we don't even have to check any other numbers any other divisions so uh, because if you can have a whole number as a product uh, uh, as a result of a division then you know it it is by default not a prime number it so we will be just checking 
uh, the the mod value mod counter for the result of zero. If it's not, then all you have to do is just decrease the counter. We're going down until we uh, the counter is uh, while the counter is greater than zero. When it is, I mean one. When the counter equals one, then we can stop because the number divided by one obviously gives you the whole uh, the, the number itself and if uh, it exits the loop and it uh, this condition is never true means that indeed we have a prime number so we will return true for the prime number and that's uh that's really all how you check the uh, whether the number is or is not a prime number. So now we can go to our form and uh, all we have to do is just to call the, uh, I'll just double check, double click this, the prime. And all we have to do is uh, call that function or the method. But we have to call it from another loop because we need to display all the numbers up to 10,000. So we that we'll do for integer integer i equals zero actually equals one. We don't need to check zero because uh, we don't we zero is not a uh, if you check with zero then uh, that will not result in any uh, valid uh, calculation in uh, in uh, looking for a prime number. So uh, i is less than ten thousand and i normally would do plus plus but in this case like i said we we can only uh, we only care for the odd numbers and since we're starting from one <coughs> we can increase the step by i plus two i equals i plus two and this will basically start with one then it will go to three then it will go to five it will basically only do the odd numbers up to 10,000 and inside the loop uh, we will call that function now the function itself or the method is returning true or false whether it is or is not a prime number so if it is we want to display it in our list box and if it's not we'll just we'll just ignore it so if and now we will call the function the numbers dot is prime and we will pass the, uh, the number is expecting an integer and the integer you're supplying is i we're supplying all the numbers up to 10,000 so uh, if this returns true that means it is a prime number so we will simply add it to our prime numbers uh, list box items dot add add i so again, we will loop 10,000 times, but only through the uh, odd numbers. And with each number that we are iterating through, we will check that. We will pass it into our is prime uh, method and see if the number is a prime one. If the method returns true, which it means that it is a prime number, then we will add that number, number i, to our list box. So uh, let me check that. We got our message here, and if I click prime, oh, here they are, all the way to, I guess, 9,973 is the largest prime number uh, uh, before 10,000 is hit. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, yeah, they seem about right. Yeah, they are. So this is working fine. So uh, now we have... Uh, a working well let's just make sure we didn't break uh, anything with our exponents if I do 4 and 5 I get 124 1024 and here's our prime numbers okay so yeah we have that working so in the next video I'm going to go and do the console application based on uh, our class numbers.cs so I'll see you in the next video take care